Hello world, it's Chatty Daddy One coming at you. I uh, went on this website checking out the um, <coughs> Moss and Station. Um, M from Canada was talking about it the other day and this right here where my arrow is pointing is a something pretty pretty big and all these little particles down there below it okay this is still showing up in the sky y'all and it's been like what a week and I've heard people say, oh, it's ice crystals in the sky, this and that, you know. And um, this officially debunks that whole thing about freaking ice crystals in the sky. Or anything, any kind of reflection from the water or anything else. I want you guys to watch this stuff. Watch it. Freaking look at it. Look at it all. Look at this. Y'all tell me what that is. It's moving across the horizon. And it's funny how that they've uh, seemed to remove that asteroid or planet or whatever that is. It could be Herculobulus. But it's funny how that's gone. But, yeah, there it goes again. There it goes. Look at it. Let's, um, let's back up a little bit and do it. And let's look at it. Okay, there's the first one. There's the first one. That, that looks... I don't know. I don't know. But how long has these things been flying across the uh, horizon down there? And I just did a video where there's a, uh, an evident planet following the sun. It's up on my YouTube channel. Um, Chatty Daddy One's channel. But look at all this stuff, you guys. Look at it all. And no, it ain't no friggin' ice crystals in the sky. If it, that was the case, it would have been a one-day phenomena, and it would have been gone. But it's still here. Why is it still here? Because it's something out there in the, in the friggin' in the sky something's going down and you know it's funny because most of this stuff can only be seen from Antarctica and they have been pouring in loads and loads of money into Antarctica somebody said it was a fleet of UFOs well the fleet of UFOs have been flying in that pattern for a week now I'm interested to see how much closer it gets. Because it seems to be getting a bit closer. I mean, it seems to me like there's a few more of these than there was last time. And look how bright these show up. Wow. That's just, uh, mm, that's, that's cool. That's really cool. <clears throat> And um, M from Canada originally caught this. Um, I don't know. I don't know, guys. What do you think? There's still a little bit of trails of it. But it, it is definitely seems to be there goes the sun. 
there goes the sun, there comes these things. And look at the look at the glare off the water. Something is above it. Something's above it giving off this glare. And um they could have purposely pointed that webcam down here at the uh building a little bit. I know there's a lot of webcams right now that are offline. But look at the size of these things. Pretty good size. I wouldn't want one of those to hit us. I just thought that was really interesting. Let you guys check it out again. I know that you've seen it before from him. But those seem to be a little closer, a little more brighter, a little clearer. And, uh, definitely, um, this is the this is the start of them here, and this this isn't showing up in our scene. Let's go down here just a little bit and see how different this is. Okay, if they would have pulled down just a little bit. Okay, let's see that. We'll say that pyramid looking rock is the uh, absolute bottom of it. If they'd have pulled that down, then that would have taken that out. Which it seems like they've lifted it up. It really does. It seems like they've lifted it up. Look, there's one of them balls. Right there. Yeah, I don't see that. And I don't see this building back over here either. It's definitely, uh... It should be showing much more sky. I bet... I know what they've done. I'll bet you that they have reduced the size of the shot and pulled the whole thing in. Let's see what else is pulled in. Now get off of there. Anything. Yeah, that's a bigger, uh, that's a bigger shot. That's a, that's a broader shot, a taller shot. Look how much they've, uh, shrunk that. They've, they've scrunched it. Especially from the sky and from the ground, they've scrunched that picture. Here's the ball, which it just barely shows part of it now. Now it cuts off down here. And it cuts off here, across the top. That's exactly what they did. They reduced the picture size, scrunched, scrunched it down. See these cylinders? 
Well, they're here. They show up pretty good here. Where are they? I don't see them there. Do you? No, I don't, y'all. I don't see them. This is a definite reduced shot. They, they've done that to hide that. To hide that uh, image. To hide that planet, I should say. That heavenly body. See, you can just barely see some of these containers right here. And you can barely see this ball. See, you can see the bottom of it here. Here, you can't. This is supposed to be the exact picture of this up here. And we know it's not. By what we're looking at, we can tell. But anyway, M. M from Canada was right. This friggin' thing is there. And we have just debunked the uh, naysayers about these being ice particles floating. And about where something's supposed to be, all this kind of crap, because it's, they've just shrunk the picture, guys. Anyways, um, that's my take on the whole subject, and, um, hope everybody's well, and God bless, good luck, y'all have a great day, or night.